Good morning again. I just tried to come on and for some reason, uh, call it Facebook, call it my internet, call it whatever you want, but it, I feel like every single time I try to go live, something ridiculous happens. So good morning. If you're here, let me know you're here. Uh, you know, some days we get calm. Oh, Debbie Stewart. Hi, good morning. Thank you for letting me know you're here. Appreciate it. Um, hi, everybody. I'm back to my, I'm trying to keep my, um, my glasses low today because my, I've got all new lighting, but I'm still trying to figure it out and I hate the glare. But uh, anyway, good morning, Debbie Gross. Uh, hi, Robin. Hi, Betty. Hi, Shannon. Uh, good morning to you guys. Well, it's morning here. I assume it's, it's afternoon everywhere else. Hi, Mary. So today, you guys, I am going live not only with Studio MDAZ, which is my page, um, Lisa Gillespie, thank you so much. I appreciate that. You have no idea. Good morning, Tracy Campbell. Uh, anyway, you guys, oh, <laughs> Debbie Stewart, thank you so much. I'm having lunch with my mom. Uh, speaking of the devil, there she is, or speaking of the angel, there she is. I'm having uh, lunch today with my mom and Kathy Spang right after this. So I thought, oh, surely I'm going to get stuff all over my little top today, but oh well. Hi, April. Hi, Judy. Hi, Nancy. It wouldn't be a normal day if I didn't have, you know, paint and crap all over me. Hi, Deborah. Hi, Nancy. Okay, gang. So I only have 30 minutes today and I have something really cute to show you. You've probably already done this before, but we're going to take a little up notch on this. Hi, Sue. Hi, Debbie Gordon. Do you guys love? Apparently, you just have to be. Oh, it, it, it is so pure and innocent. Lots of jokes there. Um, What's uh, so funny is we did a count. Hi, Tammy. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's super, it's super like blousey. It's like all over the place. But anyway, uh, we did a count in my Czech Savvy Sisterhood and we have 26 Debbies in there. So I, I assure you, you don't have to have the name Debbie to be in there, but it is really funny that we have so many. many. Hi, Claudia, hi, Nikki. Um, Nikki Palmer, you're a new follower from the UK. Welcome, my friend. Thank you so much for being here. What time is it there? I would be interested in knowing. Hi, Susie from Ohio. Hi, Brenda. Uh, hi, Debbie Fagerlin. Remember, that's what I'm saying. We have a million Debbies. Uh, okay, yeah, Judy, you got in super fast today. Hi, Deanna. Hi, Pauline. Okay, guys, I have to, I have to get started, even though I want to do this all day. Um, hi, Sufeta. Just know, I, I love you guys. Hi, Lori. And it's, it kills me not to do it because I know how much I love, hi, Tessie, when I'm on somebody else's page and they go, oh, hi, Debbie. I, there is something about it. It is like romper room that, um, hold on, Debbie Stoltenberg, your husband was taken to the hospital. Okay, we will be praying for you. Debbie Stoltenberg's husband was taken to the hospital, so I need everybody to pray about that today. Um, hi, Marcella. Okay, we're gonna do something really great. Hi, Greta. Judy, uh, Debbie Stoltenberg, please keep us posted what's happening. Hi, Dana. Hi, Suzanne Roy. Okay, guys, so, anywho, today. Um, Nikki Palmer, it's 6.04 p.m. in the UK, that's crazy. Nine in Alaska, okay. So, you guys are gonna be excited. I love, uh, you know, if you don't know me, I, I love black and white check, black and white stripe, and now I have my new obsession, which is navy. Hi, Marge Walker. Welcome, newbie. Uh, hi, Marseille. So, um, just so you know, Marge, normally I will say hi and chit chat with everybody, but today I only have 30 minutes, so I've got to. Um, yes, Sue Faina, it is better, because when we all watch Romper Room, we're like, she said, Susie, that was me. I know it was me. That was Debbie. I know it was me. Uh, so yes, uh, it, it is important. It's important to everybody to be noticed. Uh, somebody said one day, I'm, I'm not going to follow somebody else anymore because um, she never calls my name. And I said, well, it's, as a crafter, it's super hard. We've got to do our craft. We've got to try the, and just so you know, they, uh, the comments scroll so fast, you can barely keep up with them. We've got to be charming. We've got to be creative. We've got to try and be entertaining. I mean, it's a, it's a lot all at once. But I said to her, you know, just give us a break. Give us some grace. This is, this is not easy to do. And um, she said, I just feel invisible when she calls everybody else's name and my, not mine. Look, that's going to make me cry right now. 
so I don't ever want anybody to feel invisible. Just know we see you, we really do, but we've also got a job we have to do and I always go back at some point during the day and um, or at four o'clock in the morning when I can't sleep, which is usually every night. Um, and I try and acknowledge everybody. So just know that uh, I'm sorry, but it's just the way it is with all the crafters. And you're gonna be so excited about today's craft, so you will uh, forgive me for not saying hi to everybody, but I'll try and catch you when I can. Hi, Terry Gilbert. Thank you for your private message today. I really appreciated that. Um, hi, Liz. Okay, here we go. So, get excited. Today, we are going to make a blue tall pumpkin. I'm excited. Hi, Felon. Uh, I'm excited because I love blue and white. I love it mixed with black and white. So I got this pumpkin at Hobby Lobby this uh, weekend, so sa uh, Saturday. It was $6.99, 40 off. It is darling. It's resin. It's got a great stem. There's just so much about it that I love. Um, Debbie Fagerlin, yeah, I know. It is, Tracy Van, this is the new way. But like I said, um, I, I want everybody to feel noticed because I, I like to feel noticed. Of course I do, of course we all do. So anyway, uh, hi Matt Boo, you and Carol are there? Good, 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 good. Are you in Sissy? Okay, so anyway, so I wanna show you one other trick real quick that I showed in my private group. So I have Studio MDAZ is my business page. Check Savvy Sisters is my private page but it's free. So if you haven't joined that yet, join Check Savvy, S-A-V-V-Y Sisters. And I now have a membership called Check Savvy Sisterhood where we do all kinds of really special, special stuff. And we do it all week long. We're doing, we're doing stuff all the time. So if you're interested in any of that, you can check all that out. In the meantime, I wanna show you what I showed them the other day. I'm not gonna do the whole thing, but just for an idea when you're making a pumpkin and you have um, thank you, Joan. You have these kind of, you know, foam or plastic pumpkins, and they come with those little uh, ugly stubs for, for a stem. Pop it right out. Fill the hole with a little bit of paper or something just to give yourself some, uh, like a, what do you call it, like a base, so that's just not an empty hole. Cover that whole area with hot glue. Just keep putting a ton of hot glue in it, and then while it's wet, take a real pumpkin stem or a stick from your yard, or in this case, I took a driftwood stem that's beautiful. Pop it in, hold it. You're, you're probably gonna have to hold it. Just leave it there for about five minutes. And um, look, what a difference a day makes. What a difference a real pumpkin stem or a real driftwood makes. So I'm just gonna tell you, that's what, that's what we're doing. We do some other stuff to it, but I wanted you to at least have the basics of how to switch out. So, um, hi Eileen Langdon, thank you so much for being here, you guys. Okay, let's get started. I'm gonna show you how I did this. I thought I had decoupage paper, but it's not. It is just a napkin that one of my followers sent me. So I thought, oh gosh, and she just sent me like one or two of these and it is absolutely beautiful. So I went online in a panic this morning all over the internet trying to find a um, the decoupage paper. Well, it's not, it's a napkin. So thank you, Cindy. So go to amazon.com. I did it this morning. Just do a search for blue toile napkin. You'll get a whole bunch of choices. You can do it on the internet. You can do it anywhere. So that's my, uh, that's my little advice for the day. Get a blue twill napkin. As you know, most of them have three plies, so you need to take all the plies off till you get down to the bottom, and the way you know that you're at the bottom and there's no more plies left is if you can see the pattern pretty clearly. If you can still see a lot of white, you've got one more ply on and you need to get it off. I take a little piece of blue painter's tape on both sides of my napkin and pull, and it'll take the plies off super easy. So, the other thing with decoupage, is you don't want straight edges. The straight edges show like crazy, so all I'm gonna do is tear these up a little bit, and I'm working with small pieces of decoupage too, you guys. You don't, you don't wanna try and slap a whole big piece on. Isn't it a beautiful napkin? I love it so much. If anybody finds this exact napkin, here, take a screenshot. If anybody finds that exact napkin, let us know because I think everybody would love that. Hopefully Callie got a screenshot or Kathy or somebody. 
Um, okay, yeah, we're just getting started. So I started it, honestly, just to make sure I knew what the heck I was doing before I came on made a fool of myself. So I'm just adding a little bit more decoupage and I'm using a um, Mod Podge gloss finish. You can use whatever you want. I always just grab a gloss because I'm going to paint gloss over top of it also. I do a sealer, I mean, over top of it. And you don't, if you are really super clever, you can match up all your patterns, which would be amazing. I, uh, probably if I wasn't doing this and I only had 30 minutes, I might try and do the same thing. So I always say, I'm giving you guys in inspiration and ideas. You take it and run with it from there. But look at how easy and beautiful this is. Isn't that crazy? So I get so excited about stuff when I know it's good and I know you guys are gonna be excited and you're gonna to wanna to do it too. We're not just decoupaging our napkin today. We are going to add more stuff to our pumpkin and I think you're going to love it. So we're only on for 30 minutes. Surely you can hang on till then and uh, stay till the end because I think you're gonna be excited. Um, also, holy cow, Callie, who is my, um, Callie is my marketing and communications director. And Callie has already found, and uh, seriously, you guys, computer savvy extraordinaire. She's already found the napkin for us. So she's got a link for you guys. So thank you very much, Callie. That's awesome. Um, and the reason I chose a smaller pumpkin, grab a big pumpkin, do this. It would be absolutely gorgeous on your table. Two sisters here meeting for lunch. Oh my gosh, Lisa, that's right. Today's your big day, you guys. I totally forgot about that. Well, I didn't forget to just now when I saw that. If you guys are still together, shout out. We had, um, this is so fun. We started our new membership um, this last month. And so we've been introducing ourselves to each other, just doing a, a bio, you know, so we're, we're all reading each other's bios and learning about each other, finding out where everybody's from. Well, we've had three ladies that found out um, two of them are within walking distance of each other, have never met each other before, and another one lived very close by. So today they all met for lunch to meet each other for the first time. So I can't wait to hear how that went, you guys. Um, that's just so fun. Uh, Lynn Glancy, you found a whole bunch. Okay, yeah, Pam Williams, Callie makes everybody's life easier. And um, she's just, you know, background, never wants to be in the foreground. So we try and embarrass her whenever we can. Uh, you decoupage your light switch with McKinsey, Courtly Blue. Okay, that's amazing. Great idea. Um, like I said, I just thought this would be simple and this would be quick so that you'll have this down when you go and do your own pumpkin. This happens to be a resin pumpkin, but you can use any kind of pumpkin you want. Have you ever used um, Viva Decor, blah, 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 the all-in-one glue, they have matte glue? Uh, no, I haven't. So I need to know about that, Claudia. Maybe you could maybe you could share that info with me. I would definitely be interested. But can you guys get over how easy this is? So if you have a pumpkin laying around today and some pretty napkins, just do it. Just grab even these little bitty ones. Look at these. Um, and I'm going to tell you about this in a second. So that's why there's more to add to this. Uh, okay, now see, I gotta make sure I don't get anything on me, but you know I'm going to. But it just couldn't be easier, but I really do, hi Sharon Butler, I really do think, um, hi Candy, yes, do this with um, a wreath, would be absolutely gorgeous to do your pumpkins in your wreath, the little bitty ones this way. It is a game changer and it couldn't be easier. And you see, the only thing I have found while I was messing around with it this morning is you have to be careful. These, you know, because it's just now a one-ply napkin, it very easily will tear, even with just your paintbrush. So um, I'm just going to give you a heads up on that. Just be careful with it because uh, it really can tear very easily. But, um, oh my gosh, we're almost all the way through the pumpkin in less than 15 minutes. But like I said, it's just a little bitty one. Uh, but keep making sure that you're adding the decoupage Mod Podge medium underneath and then up top. And um, I'm getting a few wrinkles, but honestly, hardly any. I'm also making sure that I'm very gently punching into the seam in between each rib so that I, I need to keep maintaining the, the ribs and the, the true shape of a pumpkin. Oh my gosh, is that not beautiful? Um, 
I saw one of our Czech Savvy sisters. Um, hi, Terry Chisholm. Thank you, Judy. I think it is too. Isn't it funny when I'm, I'm you, uh, you guys know, I'm, uh, you can read me like a book because if I'm not happy with my craft halfway through, I, I usually get a little quiet and I kind of panic a little bit. And, um, you know, I'll, I'll keep working on it, but I'm not happy with it. Uh, you'll know, you'll always know when I'm super happy with it because I do, I get, I still get excited over this stuff, you guys. Every day I get excited and I'm doing it every day, but I think that's when you know you are working your passion and I am so blessed that I get to do this for a living. Some days, some days I question it when I haven't stepped outside for three days at a, in a row, but uh, yes, I am beyond grateful that uh, God chose me to get to do this for, for reals. Okay, so easy, easy, easy. And you see, I, I lay the decoupage down. You guys know how to decoupage, you're all crafters. But you lay it down first and then go over top of it. Um, okay, just a few more sections. And then we will start embellishing, which is my most favorite part in the whole world. Uh, hi, Pam from Palm Springs. I love that you always say Palm Springs and I always know exactly who you are. Uh, not that I forgot, but I just love that you always say that. So I, I see it every time. Um, Thank you, Diane. Thank you, Diane, for sprinkling. I appreciate that. I, uh, I'm i a terrible promoter of myself. I really am. I don't do stars. I don't do um, endorsements. I just, I just pray that if you like me, you share me. And on some of the crafts that I blow, because believe me, I blow crafts all the time, and I think that most of my followers are there waiting for me to do that. But... Um, you know, whenever you do sprinkle some of these, it really does help me so much. So that I appreciate. And, uh, you know, it's free. But it is funny. A lot of times I'll say, all right, guys, uh, don't sprinkle this one or don't share this one because I, you know, I blew it or I don't like it or something or uh, I, you know, I, I make a lot of mistakes, a lot of mistakes. But They'll tell you, my girls will tell you, we always pull it together in the end. Somehow, we always pull it together. And um, we're always usually shocked when we do, when it, it really starts out to be a disaster. So for my girls, if you are not um, joined to, at the hip with Craft Around the Clock, make sure you do, make sure you join that group. You guys, it's just like constant all day long crafting. Couldn't be better. And of course, you guys know we also have Craft Around the Clock TV on Roku TV. So if you haven't um, check that out yet. Make sure you do that. Um, you know, I might have a TV show over there. You never know. Um, thank you for not doing <laughs> Debbie Stewart. Hey, you know what? It is, I, I have no problems with those that do, and I will every once in a while buy stars for people. I don't have a problem with that at all. It's just something I don't do, and probably part of it is because I'm so not technical. I really don't understand all of it. And um, I have a membership, and so I feel like um, God has honored and blessed my membership, so I'm going to uh, keep doing me. And that's just how I prefer to do it. But for those that do the stars, it's, I think it's amazing. It's what a great way to get a little bit of our money back that we spend on, you know, having all these projects every day. Um, I was at one time in church, the pastor said, everybody get out your checkbook right now. This was obviously when, when everybody had a checkbook years ago. And um, everybody get your checkbook out right now. And um, he said, just kind of um, look, flip through your, your checkbook register for a second. So everybody, you can hear everybody flipping. And um, he said, I just want you to know where whatever the most you spend your money on, that is really where your heart is. And my ex-husband looked over at me and he goes, Ah, oh, crap, our heart's at Hobby Lobby. And I said, yeah, no kidding. That is, uh, unfortunately, that's that's where my uh, the bulk of my money goes. So I'm still trying to find, if I could get a sponsorship with uh, Hobby Lobby, that would be my dream. It's not funny, it really makes you stop and think when somebody says that. Uh, what you spend your money on is most likely where your heart is. And yeah, it, it really was. So, um, Thank God I don't have a checkbook anymore so I don't have to keep reminding myself what a loser I am. Okay, can you believe? And uh, just like that, 
we have done an entire pumpkin. I saw somebody, I'm sorry, and I forgot to answer. The pumpkin came from, there we go, it was Terry. I love it. If you guys really wanna get any crafter's attention during a live, do everything in bold letters and maybe some um, hearts or smiley faces, because then we'll see that instant instantly. But um, Terry Chisholm, this came from Hobby Lobby. It was $6.99, and it's a darling little pumpkin, and it's resin, and it was 40 off. So uh, I definitely recommend it. And the reason I like these so much better than the other little uh, foam pumpkins is because you're gonna get a much better stem on these and um, they're just adorable. Okay, you guys, was that crazy? 20 minutes and we decoupaged the whole pumpkin and I love it so much. Can you imagine this in your living room? Like, let's take up all of our pumpkins a notch. Um, okay, so let's get rid of that. And the next thing I want to do is I have already, okay, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I've got so much garbage on my desk that I can never find anything when I need it. Here it is. Okay. So I've already gone ahead in, uh, for time purposes. Do I match the pattern with, did you match the pattern with the paper? Um, Mary, great question. If I had time, I would have been more careful, but do you notice anything? I mean, Honestly, no. Blue Twall is all about that, so I think it's awesome. Um, but yeah, you for those of you that are perfectionists, I'm not. So if you're a perfectionist, um, then do that. Okay, so then I want to have, here's just, so bear with me, here's where we're going with this. I'm gonna paint the stem gold because I want this to be something that you would find in a boutique. I'm gonna do a few little flowers and leaves. Look at this. And I'm going to have this little bitty pumpkin if we like it. So I usually let everybody decide if you like it. If we don't like it, I have no problem saying, you know what, I might have, I might have gone too far. And I always tell people, if I'm going too far because I'm a more is more is more kind of gal, um, just say, Debbie, knock it off. It's too much, it's too much. So also I got these in a whole bag from amazon.com and my fault you guys I forgot to give my girls all my links this morning um, thank you so much it does and it will look when I finish sealing it so real quick I want to show you I just took a party stick that I had in my kitchen and I shoved it up in because you know how hard is it to try and paint a tiny little pumpkin so take a skewer or a party stick or toothpick anything and use that to hold your pumpkins while you're painting. Even the big ones you can do that with, or make sure you always have a Lazy Susan. But I wanted you to see, um, I always match my whatever I'm working with, with my paint. Now I do have a little bit of a, you know, paint background, but I'm not an artist by any means. Uh, in this case, I just kinda eyeball my pattern, see what color in my head I, I think it is. So I grabbed a navy blue, just a regular, um, oh, it's called Prussian Blue. This is by Deco Art, just a Prussian Blue. Hi, Carly, you are late, sister. And then I'm going to dip in my dark first because I want a lot of dark in here. And then I'm gonna flip it over and just barely tap in some white. And I'm gonna wipe it on my plate and see what I've got. And the reason I do this is when you just do a solid color, it never looks like a beautiful hand painting. But when you do two colors mixed together, Look at already all of the dimension that's in there. So that's what I just wanted to show you. Use your eyeballs, match up colors. Anytime you add white or black to a color, you're going to get a better outcome than if you just kind of paint your um, paint it all by yourself, you know, just one color. So anyway, that's how I did that. Um, I wasn't going to finish that because I don't, you know, I'll have that in the back anyway, but just wanted you to see that. And then we'll paint this little stem gold. I'll show you that real quick. And I'm using what I've been using for a hundred years is liquid leaf. Somebody turned this on to me, me onto this about five years ago, and I've never looked back. And it's an oil base, so it stinks. Uh, my uh, One of my friends, when she was pregnant, I made sure that she was very far away from this, honestly. Uh, and it's so dangerous that the, the back label has a warning that says, uh, if swallowed will cause death. So uh, here, my public service announcement is, don't swallow this, you guys. <laughs> Do not swallow this. I don't know why anybody would, but I'm just saying don't. Okay, then I'm gonna paint my stem and I'm gonna be very, very careful because um, my hands 
like that's all wet still. So just be super careful. Normally, you guys, if I wasn't, um, you know, on my TV show right now, normally I would wait till this is completely dry to do this, but I can't wait for you to see the transformation that's going to happen. And if I get my fingers in it, uh, don't worry, I'll go back and fix it. See, I'll go back and fix it. But obviously this type of pumpkin, I can't stick anything through it. So I'm kind of stuck at this point with how to do it. Don't you love this? Is this, cra is this just crazy? Um, you guys, yeah. Kelly, I've got, uh, I've got a great little team of people that uh, while I'm doing this, I don't have to think through anything because they just think through it with, for me actually. Not even with me, but for me. Okay, so I'm gonna get up under here. Trying not to go over my time. I'm so bad about it. I try every time and I usually blow it, but I'm, I'm really gonna try today, Tracy. I, and now I'm starting to pick. Okay, seriously, is that not spectacular? Okay, so right now we could just leave it alone. I'm looking for my lid real quick because I don't wanna spill this. Okay, hold on. Uh, one thing, this stuff is a little pricey and if you spill it, it is the worst mess you could possibly imagine. We had a lady uh, spill it once and it hit the ground, splattered up all over her wall, her carpet, her floors. Oh, it was devastating for all of us. We felt so bad because it was one of the things we've all been there, done that. So, uh, okay, let me get rid of that. Now, I love mixing black and white and uh, blue and white together. My whole kitchen is blue and white toile with a little bit of black and white involved. I keep looking at the clock to make sure I'm close. Okay, so here's what I did. If you're interested in learning how to do black and white checks, black and white stripes, or any of the Mackenzie Childs-ish look, join our page, Check Savvy Sisters, and um, we do a ton of stuff over there. So that was my, my one plug for the day. So, um, but tell me, let me get rid of this. Tell me real quick, you guys, what do you think? Does it even need flowers or do I just let it, I mean that it's just pretty enough on its own that it doesn't even need it or do you love that look? And I'm gonna cover it in diamond dust yet, so don't go away. Um, uh, let's see, so let me know what you guys think about this. Leave it, do that, flower and also maybe a little pumpkin. I, I don't like the pumpkin. I think the pumpkin is too much. I really thought I was gonna love it, but I don't. So, um, what do you guys think? Let's do, real quick, let's get our diamond dust on and then we'll make a decision together. But I really now, I was so sure of this and now I'm thinking, nope, that was, that was not a good call. That was Debbie going over too far. Um, okay. Let's seal it. Now here's what I'm sealing it with real quick. Is you want a super soft brush for this. Hi Cecile, hi everybody. You love it. I don't think it needs a whole lot. Of, I don't think so either you guys. This is one of the times I'm gonna pull myself back. Okay, I'm using a mixture of triple thick and DuraClear together. They're super high gloss. Okay, we're not gonna do flowers. We're just gonna do this and diamond dust and call it a day. Let me get rid of that you guys. So say, Thank you for letting me know because sometimes I'm looking at it right here. You guys are seeing the whole picture. If you like the glossiness that I'm about to do, it is a three parts triple thick to one part DuraClear. Why do I need both, you ask? I need both because triple thick is super thick. And um, sometimes it's hard to get a nice coat with it. DuraClear is super runny, but they're both um, without the flower. Somebody like the flower. Okay, now you guys know we're gonna do it today without the flower and I'll hold it up with the flower at the end. But just know when you do yours, if you love that flower, add the flower. But I want you to see real quick, even before we do the diamond dust, and we will, um, uh, this is what's going to help the diamond dust stick. Oh, look, my gold isn't dry yet. Shoot, okay, hold on, hold on. It's okay, we can fix anything. I'm just gonna have to be more careful. I got up into that gold. Again, you guys, normally I wouldn't be this sloppy, but for time purposes, I have to be real quick because I really want you to see how to do this. So, okay, so we've got that. Let me get my little diamond dust. Um, I've got a little, this is how fancy I am. I went and got this the other day. Uh, it's, look at that. 
and then it has this little hole that you just shoot everything right back in your container. Okay, so this is just diamond dust. You can buy it on uh, Amazon.com. Some people have found it other places, but I bought mine on Amazon. It was so inexpensive. Before I even do that, I want you to see when you put the high gloss on it, it's insane. It's so pretty. But with we, when we put this diamond dust, it's just gonna change everything. And if you need a little bit more sealer, there is no reason you can't go over it to get it to stick a little bit more. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I hope you guys have loved that. What time is it? It's my time is up. Uh, I did pretty good. I got done right to the right to the wire. So I hope you loved it. Um, I hope you do it. And if you do, if you do this, go on our page, show us pictures. We love to be inspired by everybody. Um, the gold running into it would be pretty. Yeah, it's actually not too bad. Um, this will look so pretty in my kitchen. I promise you it will end up in my kitchen. We could have put a ribbon or something on it, but just for the record, if you wanted to do the, the flower and the leaf or whatever, this is, you know, you can, and it would still be beautiful, but I think that is super elegant. Okay. I love you guys. Have a great, great day. And I hope you've loved it and I will see you. Um, let's see, when will I see you again? I will see you, um, I don't know, I have a schedule on all my pages. But also, real quick, our next class, we did a poll this morning to find out who wants to do what on our next class. Our next big class is going to be a lamp and a lampshade. So you're not gonna to wanna to miss that, but that's gonna be the uh, end of August. So, okay, I'll see you soon, bye.